हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्जियोमेट्रिक कॉस दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आई आई टी जैम टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन सो वी आर हेव विद दिस प्रॉब्लम सेवन ऑफ योर पेपर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज आ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम एनालिसिस बट वॉट आई कैन एश्योर यू राइट नाउ दैट यू विल नॉट यूज एनी एनालिसिस हेयर जस्ट बेसिक मैथमेटिक्स एंड बेसिक कैलकुलेशंस ओके सो नाउ लेट एस हैव अ लुक let xn is equal to so we have a sequence xn whose every term is product okay is written in the form of product of some n terms now what question is asking question is asking us about the limit of this sequence xn so firstly we will try to understand this so nth term of your sequence what is your nth term xn is written like this 1 minus 1 by 3 whole square 1 minus 1 by 6 whole square 1 minus 1 by 10 whole square and up to 1 minus 1 by n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square now the first step that i will be doing is to decode this term which is written here so i will decode it here what we have we have this n into n plus 1 over 2 whole square now what i will do i will just take lcm okay so if you will take lcm on the numerator part you what you will get you will get n square plus n okay uh, uh minus 2 i think minus 2 by n into n plus 1 okay this is what you will get n square plus n minus uh 2 right now what i will do right now okay i will try to factorize this term which is on the numerator part so if you will try to factorize it on the numerator part you will end up with this that uh n plus 2 into n minus 1 you will end up with this okay if you try to factorize the term on the numerator now why this why this thing we why we need to convert this thing into this thing it will be uh, clear in a moment okay now see according to this you can write every term like this okay so see over here okay okay it it is also written that n is greater than or equal to 2 okay you have to keep that in also mind so now see xn is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 okay so according to uh, okay so see firstly here that if you will place n is equal to 1 then what you will get you will get 1 minus 1 that is 0 okay so that's why they are not including 1 they are starting their n from 2 so if you will place your n is equal to 2 what you will get 2 dot 3 by 2 so 2 will be cancelled by 2 that means you will get your first term okay if you will place n is equal to 3 you will get this term so now we know that this term and this term both are equivalent so we can write every term in this way and why is that why is it helpful for us let us see so put n is equal to 2 here what you will get on putting n is equal to 2 you will get uh, i think 4 dot 1 by uh, 2 dot 3 right this is your first term now A whole square is also there, okay. Whole square uh, is also there. Now on the second one, if you will put n is equal to three, what you will get? You will get uh, three. What you are putting three, right? Three five dot uh, two by uh, three. You are putting so three dot four, right? This is what you will get. Now on the other hand, what you will get? If you will put n is equal to uh, Four, so you will get six, right? Six dot. Um, what you are putting? You are putting n is equal to three, right? So six dot three. Okay, six dot three, and uh, four dot five, and up to how many terms? N plus two, n minus one, n into n plus one. Now I can take this whole square common out. of everything every term which is written here right so let me erase this part 
okay just wait okay so now we see we can write your product like this now see how many terms we can cancel okay so okay so see for cancelling i am just uh, changing the color of the pen little bit okay so see this four which is written over here okay can be cancelled by okay this four which is written over here can be cancelled by this four right now okay this pen is not visible so we, ch we should change uh, this we should use this kind of pen so see this four which is written here will be cancelled by this four right now this two which is written here will be cancelled by the previous two okay now see similar thing okay what you are doing right now that you are cancelling this term with this term okay keep this pattern in your mind you are cancelling this okay this term i will say this term by the term which is here are you getting my point so that means this term okay according to this rule that this term will be cancelled by this term according to this rule this term should be cancelled by the term which is here right now according to this rule that two will be two you will use two to cancel this one you have to use three to cancel this three right now how this six will be cancelled the six will be cancelled by a term which will be written here on the next of it right how you will cancel your four this four will be cancelled by the term which is over here okay so now let me write a format for you suppose you have a1 okay you have a1 uh, let us say b1 c1 d1 and you have a2 it's not a matrix okay they are product a2 b2 c2 d2 so what's the pattern the pattern is very clear that this this term will be cancelled by this term and this term will be cancelled by this term are you getting my point so this is our pattern now according to this pattern after this first first term every element is cancelled inside this this thing becomes one this thing also becomes one now in the end there will be a problem it may happen that and your number of term here returns are odd that means the nth term will still be there are you getting my point so for the nth term what what will be cancelled okay just think over it for the nth term what will be cancelled now you know that this n plus 2 will be cancelled by a term here right so this will uh, this will be cancelled by a term here so it will not be cancelled this thing will not be cancelled but for this one what's happening that uh, this n minus 1th term which is here okay this this term will be cancelled by a term which is located on the previous of it uh, where is my okay so this n minus 1th term will be cancelled by a term which is written here are you getting my point so this is our pattern that this will be cancelled by this one and this one will be cancelled by this one right this is my pattern so that means we can cancel our n minus 1th term in the end okay we can cancel our n minus 1th term now n my n plus 2th term is, is still there okay we not we cannot cancel that now you know that this d2 is cancelled by a term which is which is uh, which is uh, written previously of it okay so that means this n plus 1 will be cancelled out are you getting my point or not so since we don't have exactly uh, exactly you can say that we we, we have exactly uh, cancelled out every term and the term which cannot be cancelled out is this n n and this n plus 2 because these two will be cancelled by the term which will be located here are you getting my point so this is the strategy so what xn do we have now we have xn is equal to 1 by 3 dot n plus 2 by n only why because you have cancelled every term there now what you can do okay 
if you try to find out its limit you can do it easily because you have 1 by 3 1 plus 2 by n whole square in your hand that means what you will get you will get uh, 1 by 3 whole square that's 1 by 9 are you getting my point so therefore b option is the correct option c d and a are incorrect options okay so thank you